minimal, but the sebaceous hyperplasia, which you can see these little bumps here. Some people have really large ones, some people have very small ones, but it's something that Sharon doesn't like. So we're just gonna zap those, it's only one or two zaps. a bit bigger. After care, what would you recommend for the patients to use? So for something like this, you'll need to use an, maybe a pampan or something for a day or so. You just want that surface of the skin to start growing back over. And just when, to heal. When can they strong. wear makeup again? Yeah, on this, question. I won't be wearing makeup for the rest of the week on these. Uh, so just an update on my treatment the other day. Um, just erbium laser to remove um, sebaceous hyperplasias on my forehead. We've probably done a few extras. Um, as you can see, it just comes up with a scab. So what I've had to do, um, it will look like this for about a week. I've been to the hairdresser, to the gym, haven't bothered about it today. Um, so just aftercare, I can't use any active ingredients, plain cleanser, and I've been putting a bit of a panthen over um, just the dots and plain moisturiser on the rest of my face. So they should probably take about a week to heal and flake off. I can probably put makeup on by the weekend, but I'll just walk around like this. So if you come in, this is what I look like, a bit spotty.